Hi, in this video, we will explain the vector equation of a line. So the main objective here is that given a point, the red point on the screen, and a direction, which is the black arrow of the line, I should be able to use a parameter, which is a number between minus infinity and plus infinity, to find all possible points on that line. This is the main objective here is to be able to find any point on a line given an existing point on that line and the direction of the line. And we will be using vectors and vector operations to find that other point. The vector equation of line uses vector operations to find that point on the line using a parameter. We will do the full derivation and explain how that is achieved. So given a direction of the line and a point on that line, let's call it Q, we should be able to find all possible points on that line, let's call them P, using some parameter T. A parameter is a number between minus infinity to plus infinity. So given a vector V and a point Q, I should be able to find all points P on the line using parameter t. So let's list what we have given. So a vector v, let's say it's equal to a1, a2, a3. So these are the given values. We also have point q equal x0, y0, z, zero. We have t is our parameter. It's a number, and this is going to be our variable. What I am trying to find is p. Let's call it x, y, z. And this is a point on the line. So we will use the vector operations to be able to derive or find the equation that will give me p. So basically at the end of our derivation, what we are trying to do is to find the value of p in terms of v, q, and t. And changing the value of t will give me different values of p on the line. So negative values of t will give me points at the opposite direction of my line, while positive values of t will give me points in the same positive direction of the line. We will use our knowledge in uh, vector operations to be able to make the derivation. In a practical application, you will probably not need to use the derivation, you just use the final equation, but it's very useful to know where it came from. Let me draw a reference to my coordinate system. x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. This is my origin, 0, 0, 0. Given point Q, I know that the position vector, let's call it small letter Q, is going to be equal to the same values as the coordinates of the tip point Q. So that will be x0, y0, z0. That's my first vector that goes from the origin to point Q. It's the position vector. The coordinates of the tip point Q is equal to the components of vector Q. 
That's my first vector. We do have vector v, which is the direction of the line. We know that we can scale that vector by a factor. So if I multiply t by vector v, and let's call that vector a, vector a will go in the same direction as vector v, but will have different length based on the parameter t. So if my parameter is, for example, 3, then I'll create vector a that is 3 unit length. That's my vector a. And the tip of my vector a will be a point on the line. The question is this. Given vector q and vector a, how can we calculate point p? If you recall from vector operations, adding two vectors will result in a vector that is in the average direction or basically adding the two magnitudes and directions, combining the two magnitudes and directions of the two vectors. So adding vectors q and a will create a third vector. Let's call it small letter p. So we can say that vector p equals vector q plus vector a. Let's expand the components of each one of those vectors. Vector p is x, y, z. Because remember, vector p is a position vector for point p. And we know that point p components or coordinates are x, y, z. So it is the same as the point p components. So x, y, z vector equals vector q is x, 0, y, 0, z, 0. We also know that a, vector a, is actually vector v multiplied by factor t. So in other words, we can substitute vector a with t times vector v. Vector v is a1, a2, a3. Let's simplify this equation. So x, y, z, which is vector p, equals x0, zero, y0, zero, z0, zero, plus as you recall from a vector scalar operation, if you multiply a scalar by a vector, you multiply that vector by each one of the components of that vector. So we can say it's t times a1, t times a2, and t times a3. Now from vector addition, we know that to add two vectors, you add their corresponding components. So we can rewrite and further simplify that x, y, z is equal to x, 0, plus t, a1, comma. So that's the first element of my vector addition. And we can do the same with the rest of them. Now, because this is equal both sides, that means each one of the components, vector components on the left, is equal to the corresponding vector component on the right. In other words, x equal x0 plus t a1, and y equals y0 plus t a2, and z equals z0 plus t a3. Let's write these three equations at the top here. 
x equal x0 plus t times a1, y equals y0 plus t times a2, z equals z0 plus t times a3. This is the first equation, this is the second, and this is the third. If we combine those values, we will find that x, y, z is basically point P. x0, y0, z0 is point Q plus T is my parameter that is multiplied by a1, a2, a3, which is my vector v. Congratulations, we just derived the vector equation of line. That is, any point p can be found given a point on the line q, the direction of the line v, and a parameter on that line. So the only variable in this equation is my parameter. The point is a given, and the direction of the line v is a given, and we were able to find any point using a parameter, a variable parameter. This is the vector equation of a line. Let's see how that looks in Grasshopper. Let's try to build what we just learned using these variables to find our point P given an input point and a direction and using a parameter T. In a grasshopper, let us try to recreate the derivation we just done on the whiteboard. Given a point Q, the red point, and a unit vector for the direction of the line, how can we use a parameter to find every other point on that line? If you recall, the, the parametric equation of the line was that any point on the line is equal to a given point plus your parameter t times the direction of the line v, which is a unit vector. Now this is my parametric line equation. Let's try to implement that. So my point P should be the result of adding Q to T times V. Let's use an expression. Expressions are very powerful in that they can encapsulate all my variables. Q, T, and V. All we need to do is to write the equation inside the expression q plus t times v. Now we need to connect q, v, and parameter t. Now we immediately can see a point there on the line because my parameter t was set to 1.2. And if I change the parameter, I can see that point p is now showing on the line. So what comes out of this equation is a point on the line. Just for display, let's hook that point into my display here to get the blue point. And this is how you find any point on a line given a point and a direction on the line and a parameter.